Edie Melson here and today I want to share a little trick with you that will help you get your blog posts shared on social media and that is I want to show you how to add a click to tweet to a blog post. For those of you not familiar with click to tweet, I use them a lot of times in my blog posts. I call them tweetables simply because that's just the name that I came up with. But I have this in almost every one of my posts and when somebody comes to it, it's a clickable link, the entire section. They can click on this and there they have a ready-made post that they can share on social media. They don't have to come up with hashtags, they don't have to come up with what to say, nothing. They can just tweet it or copy it and paste it into a scheduling program like Hootsuite and share it on social media. But I've had a lot of people ask me how do I add these and I would love to be able to do a blog post about it, but the fact of the matter is there are just too many screenshots that are needed and I think it's easier on this particular process for you to watch me do it rather than just have me tell you about it. So that's what we're going to do today. To, do, to add a click to tweet to an individual blog post, these are the things that you need open in on your desktop. Three sites you need open. Number one is you need the compose window of your blog. Number two, you need a URL shortener. My favorite one is bitly.com and you will also need click to tweet dot com. Okay, let me start here. This is Blogger. This is where the site that my blog is hosted on. So I'm going to show you this to begin with. WordPress is not much different and as we go along I'll show you a couple of things in WordPress. Alright, this is my compose window. I've already got the post put up and actually I've already put in the click to tweet but I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it in again so that you can see it. Alright, the first thing I need to do is before I do anything else I need to go ahead and compose the tweet or the social media update and I've done that a writer wonders and a once lost story finds a home. Robert Benson. That's a quote. Um, I was fortunate enough to hear Robert Benson speak this week at the Florida Christian Writers Conference and this particular this particular quote just stayed with me and I wanted to share it. So that makes the perfect click to tweet. Okay, I go over here on this side of the compose window and I click the permalink because this is going to be the link that is live once the post goes live. So I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to take it over here to Bitly. This is bitly.com. This is where you can shorten links. You can sign up for a Bitly account. It's free. Um, or you can just use it like this. I actually have signed up in the past and um, but I've got it here like this today so that you can see what it looks like when it first comes up. Okay, I'm going to paste that link right there and automatically Bitly has shortened it for me. See how much shorter that was? Let me do that again so you can see it. The link was really long and then Bitly made it into shorthand so that it doesn't take up as many characters on social media. Here we go. Does it automatically. All right, now I don't want to click copy yet. I want to go back to my blogger window. And, well, actually, I'm going to go over here to my WordPress. This is a site that I'm a regular contributor to called puttingonthenew.com. This is a WordPress site. This is where a WordPress permalink is. So you can copy and paste this permalink and do the same thing in Bitly. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're using WordPress or if you are using Blogger. Okay, back here. Now, I have my tweetable, or I have my click to tweet, the tweet that I want to use. I'm going to highlight that. I'm not going to highlight click to tweet because I don't want to use up those characters and have those as part of the tweet or the social media update itself. All right, I'm copying this one. Now I'm going to go to click to tweet Com. I already had this open in my browser window so I could just click on it. 
Now, you can sign in with Click to Tweet, and if you do, it will track the analytics of the social up meets social media updates that are shared through click to tweet but you only get a certain number of those and then you have to sign up for their paid version so the paid version is great if you want to track your analytics uh, personally I track my analytics through Hootsuite so I just use the free version of click to tweet so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click basic link I'm gonna click on that and this gives me the basic Compose the compose window of the create a basic link. So I'm going to post. Or I'm going to paste my tweet in here. All right. A writer wonders, and a once lost story finds a home. Robert Benson. Now the next thing I want to add to this is the URL. So I'm going to go back to Bitly. Now I could highlight and copy this, but there's no need. All I have to do is click the copy button, and it automatically copies it. Now I go back to click to tweet and I add the URL there. Now everyone who knows me knows that I tell you you need to have at least one hashtag and since this is about writing I'm gonna use the hashtag writing. Okay. Now you'll notice when you go back when you look at my blog I don't have this section of the click to tweet in my blog. I don't see any reason to add extra gobbledygook for readers um, but it will be there when they click on it okay all right now you have to uncheck this box I uncheck that then I click generate new link and this is the link that makes the magic happen so I'm gonna copy and paste it I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go over here to my blogger window here is my click to tweet. Now you notice, like I said, I don't have the URL in here or the hashtag just because there's no reason to have it here and it keeps it cleaner looking. I'm going to highlight this whole thing. I don't want to highlight just click to tweet and I don't want to highlight just the update, the social media update. I want to highlight all of it and I'm going to click on link. I'm going to paste this little link in and when I click this button it's going to show you what the reader would see it when they click this link and there it is and you'll notice it, I have the hashtag in here and the URL so all the information they need is here but they don't need it in the body of the blog alright I hit OK and then I'm going to hit update and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to update this one if I go down and I click on my tweetable, there it is, right where it's supposed to be. It is a simple thing to do to add click to tweet, but you can see how it might be a little confusing if you were trying to go through these steps um, with written instructions. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you're welcome to visit my blog and leave a comment. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon.